going on Beastly Nation, Beastly Gamer here, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Nintendo's classic mini NES console that will be coming out later on in the year that has me excited and has probably you excited too. I think it's great that Nintendo is offering new generations of gamers an opportunity to play the console that really started it all. The one that made home based console gaming the norm and the standard, the NES. And I wanted to talk about the price of this thing, whether or not it's a value, and I wanted to compare it with some of the other offerings in a similar uh, in a similar vein being offered today by things like Android and current gen systems and even PC. I'll drop a link in the description. Nintendo's $60 retro NES console is already at the top of many holiday wish lists, but is it actually a good deal? Spoiler alert, yes it is. But let's back it up a bit. The product in question is a tiny shrunken down replica of the 1980s Nintendo Entertainment System with 30 of that console's classic games built in. It includes a wide range of informative titles from Nintendo's back catalog such as multiple Donkey Kong, Super Mario, and Legend of Zelda games, and a handful of games from third-party publishers like Konami's Super Castlevania and Square's Final Fantasy are also on board for the nostalgia tinged ride. The catch, if there is one, is that you can already get many of these games on existing Nintendo Wii U and 3DS consoles thanks to the company's Virtual Console App Store. And some of these non-Nintendo third-party games are available from rival platforms such as iPhone, Android, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. But we checked the availability and pricing of each game, and it only makes the Mini NES look like an even better deal. How the numbers add up. The bottom line is this. You'll spend more than twice the price of the Mini NES to buy the exact same games on the 3DS and the Wii U and that's not including a handful of the games that aren't available on either platform. Looking for the games on non-Nintendo platforms, your choices are slim. On the Wii U, you'll pay $139.72 for 28 games. On the 3DS, you'll spend $129.74 for 26 games. On the iPhone and the iPad, you're going to pay $16.96 for 7 games. The Android, you're going to pay $9.98 for 6 games. On the Xbox One, you'd spend $20.97 for 8 games. And on the PS4, which is the worst, you're going to spend $11.98 for 2 games. On the PS4, games like Double Dragon 2 are $8, while Galaga will cost you $4. So, the Nintendo Mini is actually a great value, an incredible value, and it's a beautiful little system. Besides, it fits in the palm of your hand, has 30 games built in. I cannot wait to get my hands on this console. I just want to let you guys know, for people who are potentially uh, thinking of holding off or not buying it because you might find a better value someplace else, probably the best place for value, as far as value goes, would be Android because you can get six games for $10. So that would probably be one of the best values, but I still don't think it's as good as this deal. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Is the Nintendo Mini NES worth your 60 bucks? $10 controllers, 30 games built in. More than likely in the future we'll probably see a version 2 of this with 30 different games. A mini Super Nintendo, which is going to be incredible. A mini Nintendo 64. Blow my mind, Nintendo. Just bring it back. Make Nintendo great again. Make Nintendo great again. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up. Show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Guys, I am on Twitter. I tweet. I, I tweet. And tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.